I'm nearly dead. I'm going to work and I'll see you guys after. I'm home on my lunch break and I got work shirts, which I won't show you because safety, but I rushed home for my lunch because I had to poop so bad, so bad. I don't want to get into detail because that's gross, but just know that I thought I was going to die. So I literally left for lunch 10 minutes early and just spent majority of my lunch on the toilet so i'm about to go back to work now but great day i'm finally heading home it's four o'clock and today was better than yesterday which is great because yesterday was good so yeah i'm so exhausted though this getting up at 5 30 thing is just not the business for me like it my body says no but i only have to do that for the rest of this week and then next week i'll be working the 10 to 7 shift which should be better and then after that my normal schedule will be 10 to 7 so hopefully that that works out better for my body and my sleeping schedule but i'm going home now and i'm starving because i didn't eat lunch on my lunch break because of uh, you know what so I'm gonna go home and eat something and I need to edit yesterday's vlog. This whole vlogmas thing while having a job is so hard. I don't know how anyone does it. I'm literally on day two of vlogging while having a job and I'm so stressed about it and I feel like I'm not gonna be able to do it. Even though there's not that many days left so I'm still gonna push through it but it's hard, it's stressful. But once I get home and eat and edit, I don't know if I'm gonna like take a nap until Zachary gets home or I don't know. I don't know what I'm gonna do. I just know I have to go to bed like early. Like I honestly want to be in bed at seven so I can get 10 hours of sleep because that's what my body needs. But it's so hard for me to go to bed at seven because Zachary's not even home by then with his finals and and my body's just not used to it. like even though I'm exhausted like my body doesn't want to like go to bed at 7 like I'm used to going to bed at 11 or 12 every single night and getting up at 9 or 10 in the morning so it's just gonna take some getting used to but for this week I'm just gonna be exhausted and now I'm just rambling because I have nothing else to say but um, I'll see you at home I'm home yes I'm wearing the same outfit I wore yesterday, but these are my after work clothes, so I wear them for a couple hours and take them off, so I'm wearing them again. But I got the mail, and Zachary's last Christmas present came in, and I was so excited because this is the one thing I was the most excited for. Like, this is my gift. I was so, so, so excited to give to him. I'll just show you guys what it is because I'm gonna tell him what it is because I'm not returning it, and I'll explain why. But the size guide, I ordered it from this girl on Etsy. And the size guide said it was in men's sizes. It's socks, by the way. Said it was men's sizes, and so I picked a men's size 10 because that's what Zachary wears. These socks are so big and so like wide and chunky that I can't even, I, I am so upset. I will show you guys a close-up, but I sent in a picture of Spike's face, and that is Spike's face all on the socks with little paw prints and bones and hearts, and they're not the right size. And the reason I'm not going to return or exchange them, one, is because there's no slip in the package to do so. There's not like a, a shipping label or anything to go give it back. And because it took so long for these to get shipped to me, I don't want to have to wait to ship them back, deal with all of that crap, since it's just like a person's small little Etsy shop. But I'm so upset about it, and I'm just hoping that he'll still like them and just wear them around the house or something. But that is so upsetting. Let me show you guys a close-up of them. So here's the socks up close. 
now that I'm looking closer at them, the material is like not good. It's like a weird spandex material and that's not ideal for a saw. And I think these were like 20 or $30. So they're expensive for a pair of socks. They're the wrong freaking size. They're not good quality. And they took so long to ship and I'm very upset about it. It's 5.30 now and I'm editing my video. I started a load of laundry. I took care of the mail. I ate my snack and now I've just been editing and I'm just so exhausted. Today is Zachary's last final. It's his last class ever at UNLV. I'm so excited for him and I know I've already said this a couple times in a few other vlogs but I'm just so excited for him to be able to do online schooling again because that's what he did for his associates and then he transferred to UNLV for his bachelor's but it's been horrible so he's gonna go back to online. And I'm really excited for him because he does so good online and then we have so much more time to like do stuff together and I'm just really excited for it and I'm proud of him for deciding to do what's best for him and I'm just really looking forward to it. Okay guys, I've decided to help me get in the Christmas spirit. I'm gonna wrap some presents. I'll kind of talk about what I got as we go along. But the first thing is the stupid socks I ordered for Zachary. I told him kind of what was up. I was like, hey, I ordered you something and it didn't come how it was supposed to, but I can't really do anything about it to fix it. So I'm still gonna give it to you and hope that you like the thought and the idea. So I'm still gonna wrap that up for him and give it to him on Christmas. I don't know if you guys can even see what I'm doing down here. You probably can't. I can't believe Christmas is so close. Because what day is this that I'm filming for? Day 14? Oh my gosh, Christmas is so close. So soon, it's coming quick. I'm horrible at wrapping presents, by the way. So bad, especially if it's like, well, I mean, I'm pretty good at like normal boxes, but if you ask me to do like something like this, that's like flimsy, oh my God, it's so bad. I'm so cold, I have the windows open because when I got home, the apartment smelled so bad. Um, because there was like chicken packaging in the trash can from the last couple nights and I just forgot to take the trash out once I put them in there because I know it stinks it up and I just forgot to take care of it. Oh, it smelled so bad when I got home. I was like, I have to open the windows. So I have the windows open and I have a candle burning to like get rid of the scent, but it's crazy. Let's talk about our favorite things about Christmas. Comment down below what your favorite things are, whether it be like traditions you and your family do, or your favorite things to eat on Christmas, or anything like that. Just like tell me what your guys' favorite things are about Christmas. And now I'm gonna talk about my favorite things. One of my all time favorite things about Christmas is all the Christmas movies, especially all the ones that they add on Netflix every year. They're normally so cheesy, but like, I love that. I love how cheesy and romantic they are. I think they're so fun and cute. And I just love turning one on every single night and listening, well, listening. I love just turning one on every night when I climb into bed and just like falling asleep to it. I never actually finish the movie, but it's just the warm and cozy like vibes that a Christmas movie gives you that's just so comforting when you're going to bed. I also love all the peppermint flavored stuff. I also love all the sweaters. I've never really been into sweaters until this year. I'm like obsessed all of a sudden. I don't know why but I love me a good sweater or two. Of course I love getting presents, but I don't want to say that and be like annoying. Oh my God, I love getting presents because it's not about that. Comment down below some of your family traditions, like what you guys do that might be unusual for most people. Like I know for my family, what we do is we do breakfast Christmas morning. So we'll always alternate it between my parents and then my aunt and uncle of who does it every year. So we just go back and forth. And I think that's really fun because my parents are there, my aunt and uncle and cousin are there, and then my dad's side 
of my grandparents are there. It's just really cool to like all be together. It's like the buff side of the family all gets together and does breakfast and we do our presents together and we hang out for a little bit and it's just a really good time. And then another tradition that Zachary and I have is, well, one thing that he does is he buys us a gift from Santa, which is so cute. A funny story, last year he bought us a gift from Santa, but I didn't know that. We just like got something in the mail or we got a package at the door and I was at home and the package said it was from like children's school or something. And I was like, what is that? Like, what the heck? So I opened it and it was a board game that I had been wanting. And I was like, crap, I just ruined one of my Christmas presents. And then I told him and he was like, oh my gosh, seriously, that was the Santa present. And I was like, oh, I didn't even know we were doing Santa presents. And he was like, well, we're like not, but I want to get a pre present for us every year from Santa. And I was like, oh, that's really cute. So we started that last year and he's doing it again this year. So that's a really fun thing we do. But another fun thing we do is Zachary and I like to make hot chocolate at home or go get hot chocolate from Starbucks on Christmas Eve or the night before and go look at all the Christmas lights around like in the neighborhoods. And I think that's so fun because you get to see so many different ways that people set up their lights and some people have like cool themed things like a Disneyland Christmas and stuff like that and it's so, so fun. It's free fun, you just have to drive around and that just like really puts you in like the cool Christmas spirit like right before Christmas day. And it's so good. And of course, the number one best thing about Christmas is giving other people gifts. I get so excited to hand someone a gift and like watch them open it and see like them get excited about what they got and that just like makes you feel so warm and fuzzy like that is the number one best thing about christmas is seeing other people open the gifts you bought them but those are my favorite things about christmas and my favorite traditions i literally only wrapped one present while i was doing that because i don't know how to multitask but i'm gonna do the rest of this off camera so i can just get it done i think i wrapped four or five presents and there's still two left unwrapped under the tree right now but those are for like Zachary's family members, so I want to do those with him. And now I need to take my clothes out of the dryer. Alright folks, you know what time it is. It's time to say goodbye. I wash my face. I brush my teeth. This is the wrong order. Let me start over. This is what happened in this order. You guys saw me take care of my laundry. Then I sat down and I got my video uploaded. And then I... What did I do next? I made myself a spinach wrap for dinner and then I wash my face and I brush my teeth and now here we are and I'm saying goodbye see you guys tomorrow thank you for watching bye